Hello, everyone. Peace. Oh, please. It's obvious. Well, this is the very first episode of the obvious truth, and we have our guest Alex Abundance. He's the first guest we have on this uh, on this podcast. So hi, I'm guys. I'm honored. <laughs> Yeah, his name is Alex Abundance. He has over 155,000 followers on his Instagram page. So definitely check him out. And oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So tell us a little about yourself, Alex Abundance. <laughs> okay. So I'm Alex Abundance, and I, um, I'm a digital creator, and I'm also a plant-based uh, nutritionist, and I, I help people that want to uh, – want to transition into a plant-based lifestyle I help people with that and I've also helped people with like oracle oracle reading and like just getting in tune with themselves and I really I really like helping other people serving other people that's one of my passions that's awesome awesome I'm also getting into making music and trading and all kinds of other stuff oh really you're getting into music too yeah oh cool man Hey, oh, dude, that, yeah, it looks like exactly like my setup right here, actually. <laughs> awesome. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. So are you going to do, like, some rap or some, like, singing? What do you think about doing? So I I write um, rhymes and raps, I guess, but uh, I really have always liked to sing. Mm -hmm. I've always – I grew up uh, singing, like, Green Day and uh, all <laughs> kinds of – yeah, all kinds of um, – all kinds of really good music when I was growing up, and – I've always been inspired by inspired by lyricism, so mm -hmm. it kind of uh, planted a seed in me, and I'm I'm now writing and just pursuing that path along with all my other interests and hobbies and passions. Mm -hmm. Dude, that, that's funny. I I used to listen to Green Day like way back in the day, in like second grade. I started listening. Oh to them. yeah, yeah, they're old, old school. Yeah. <laughs> so you like listening to like a lot of like like rock like kind of guitar stuff Is yeah that okay. yeah i also went through like uh uh i guess you'd call it like a scene emo phase where i listened to <laughs> me too oh, bro yeah yeah i went through it as well yeah i um like asking alexandria i loved them yeah. for a while <laughs> that's funny i used to listen to them too uh bring me the horizon yeah They're pretty good yeah uh all kinds of other people I love yeah. music. Music's always, always inspired me. Right. Yeah. Push me I, forward. Yeah. I used to listen to a lot of that dark stuff as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some of my, like, darkest days, I listen to the darkest music. It makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Well, but, yeah. Music, music is really good for helping you, uh, first of all, set moods and also get out of other moods or, like, help you express emotions just by listening listening mm -hmm. to other people going through those emotions mm -hmm. right yeah we were talking about mac the last time uh last time we talked and mac oh, is yeah. mac miller is really good for helping you go through like breakups and all kinds of ups and downs yeah. of life oh man a lot he's, of emotional stuff yeah. yeah he's such a versatile artist he really is yeah he he he's, yeah he, he started out with more of the like more of the upbeat, like fun stuff. And then it got like kind of like dark. He had um his like alternate like name. Yeah, uh, Larry Fisherman. Larry Fisherman, exactly. Yeah, he I love that. Experimented a little bit. It yeah. got uh, a lot of it got dark because he kept getting like really, really shitty criticisms, I feel like, and he's talked about it a few times, but I, I think that sucks because he was expressing himself the way that he wanted to you think that's why I, I i wasn't actually really too sure yeah i've seen a lot of documentaries and stuff like uh, oh yeah yeah the um the stop making excuses documentary is really good and then i just watched the the tragic life of mac miller but a mm -hmm. lot of those are outside perspectives as well so mm -hmm. so we don't know like the full right, story right, exactly exactly it, but it, go ahead uh no nah, no nah, you go you go <laughs> he made he made a lot of content and really let us see inside of his life and i think that was really cool and really impacted yeah. a lot of people in good ways man it, i mean you're saying that it's because of, it might be because of a lot of criticism i i think that's such a shame you know especially someone at such like a high level 
Absolutely. Know? Absolutely. Like, and his, his stuff that he was, he was releasing uh, around the time of his death was so good. It's oh like my God. Yeah. The pinnacle of his work and his stuff was just getting better and better. And I'm, I'm really glad that he has so many unreleased things so we can continue to hear stuff from him as, yeah. as time goes on, even though he's not around to release it himself. True that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, energy lives on forever. Music lives on forever. So he's going to continuously just keep inspiring millions of lives. So. Absolutely. Hey, do you um, play any video games? Uh, I actually, I play once in a while with my little brother. Um, we play like, we used to play Fortnite a good amount. Yeah. <laughs> Recently, more like Call of Duty. PS4? <laughs> Xbox. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Xbox doesn't have VR, does it? I have no clue. This PS, so, PS PlayStation has it? Yeah, I um I just recently got a game from my buddy. Here's the, the headset. Oh wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. How is I it? Just, How is the experience like with that? Oh, it's so insane. When you go inside there, it doesn't even you can't you don't really feel like you're in this reality anymore. It feels like it takes you and it puts you inside the video game. It's so oh, crazy. Have you seen, um, uh, do you watch anime at all? Yeah, a little bit. I ha I don't like watch that much anymore, but like I watched just a few. Like, Have you seen Sword Art Online? No, I never saw that one. That's one I would recommend. It's a. Uh, have heard about that. Yeah. Yeah, it's about these kids that they all buy a new video game, and it's uh, it's Nerve Gear, and the uh, the headset actually hooks into your like nervous system, oh. and it puts you inside the game. I like, think my brother told me about that. I think he watched it actually. And they got trapped in there for two years. Yeah. Dude. They wouldn't, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> Could you imagine just being trapped in a game no. for two years? And if you die, you died in real life. Imagine how, how steep that learning curve is. Oh, if you died in the game, you died in real life? Yeah. Yeah, wow. like 2,000 2, people died within the, the first couple of months. Oh, shit. <laughs> there, was only, there was only 10,000 people that bought a copy of the game. How many? 10,000. That, that 2,000 died right away? Oh, man. 2,000 2, died within the first couple of months, but there was 10,000 on the server altogether. It's not a game I would want to play. No, and no one no one knew. They just, uh, the creator of the game just popped it on and they took, uh, they took the logout button off. No way. Yeah, so if you, as soon as you went in, man, you weren't getting out. That's hardcore. What would, what would they do, like? They battle like monsters or something. Like yeah, so there was uh there's this thing called the the Emerald Palace up at the top. It's a uh, floor 100. They had to go through all the all the levels and they're a dungeon on each floor and a boss. And man, these bosses kept getting harder and harder. I don't want to give you too many spoilers. Yeah, though. no, that's all good. I, them, that's that's pretty crazy though. You never know, like life could go in that direction you know oh yeah absolutely especially with the technology we have now yeah it's it's getting it's getting intense i think <laughs> like how, how are the graphics for the vr like how is the headset like are the graphics like crazy yeah it depends what game you're playing but mm -hmm. like i can play any game on the vr on my vr headset i don't need a tv right i can put it on the vr and it's like i have a movie theater in front of my face yeah. What, so, what games do you play then? Um, I uh, uh, No Man's Sky recently went to. Uh, they ported to VR. Have you played No Man's Sky? No. Nah. Okay, so it's like <laughs> it's like Minecraft in space, but with way better <laughs> graphics. That sounds sick. It is sick. Um, there's <laughs> there's a there's a glitch. Well, not really a glitch, but I guess there's like a a hole where in the in the system or whatever where you can just keep uh, mining gold or like really expensive minerals mm -hmm. on certain planets and then take them and sell them and just be rich yeah <laughs> so is it like you're building stuff basically well you you build your your like headquarters but other than that uh like everything is something that you mine and you go and you collect uh these kind of gems and you at the end you get uh you get to either create a whole nother universe, like a whole nother planet or whatever. Wow. Or you can do something else. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I beat it. 
but they recently <laughs> ported it to VR. So I'm going to play that tonight. I'm really excited about that. Uh, so you haven't tried it with the VR yet? No, not yet. Okay. My buddy let me borrow this game. Have you seen Rick and Morty at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me borrow this game. It's uh, made from the creators of Rick and Morty. It's called Trover Saves the Universe. Oh, okay. All right. What is, the, what is that like? What is that it's supposed to be? It's really weird. <laughs> I, can, I can only imagine from that show. <laughs> Um, in the beginning, like literally the beginning of the thing, some big monster just pops up and he takes your the character that you are, takes the puppies and puts them in eye holes and uses the power of your bond, the bond of your power to become like unstoppable, I guess. And this this creature is so weird and it. It taking <laughs> puppies and putting it in its eye sockets is even weirder. <laughs> Wait, what do they put in the eye sockets? Puppies. Puppies? Puppies. What? Yeah, the character <laughs> that you are, they're puppies. Whoa, that that is sounds crazy. You haven't, you haven't played it yet? I've played a little bit of it. I'm on like World 3 or something. It's crazy. And this All is VR? Yeah, VR. Wow. Is, are oh. the graphics good? They're good for what it is. So yeah. it's not like, it's not super realistic, but mm. it's, it's, it's good for like cartoon graphics. I feel like I'm a right. character in like yeah. Rick and Morty or something. Does it, does it feel weird when you just take off the headset after playing for a while? Oh, for sure. For <laughs> sure. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't wear it for too long. Like 30 minutes is probably about really? what you should do. 30 yeah, minutes. I mean, like, yeah. Uh, it gets, it gets like a, uh, you can get nauseous in there. It's it kind of weird. Yeah, I I remember in my high school they brought in like VR headsets for us to try for some reason, and like I was kind of cool. feeling like disoriented. Like I was like, yeah, not yeah. feeling so good. Like trying. Yeah, you gotta. Out. It's like building up a tolerance. You gotta build up a tolerance to it. Yeah. So maybe in the future people will be playing for hours, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And maybe they'll they'll do it to where it just puts you in in the game like for real and you don't need to use your eyes for it that's intense yeah that's what uh sao was it like plugged your consciousness into the game wow wait yeah. is that swords are uh swords are SAO. sword art online oh, yeah that dude i don't know man that's that's a lot I, I just imagine like kids like in the future just like spending like five hours straight in this other world. Yeah. <laughs> imagine spending two years in it though. Yeah, that I don't know, man. <laughs> and then coming back to here would be Oh absolutely... yeah. Their bodies were all like all like decayed and uh all small because they, they couldn't oh, really... really Yeah the That makes sense. After the first day, they started putting the people that were in the VR in the hospital. Because if you took, if you unplugged the <laughs> VR, it would send a microwave signal into your brain and fry your brain. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Wow. He didn't want them to get out of the game. <laughs> wow. Is this on Netflix? Um, I think my brother said he watched it. There, it might maybe? It might be on Netflix. If it's not on Netflix, mm. after this, I'll send you this website that I Got use. You can, you can watch any anime. Uh, any any cartoon, any animated show in the whole I've wow, never okay. <laughs> I've never looked up one and it not been on there. And really? It's all free. It's all free. No like no like Hulu ads, no YouTube ads for when mm. they pop up while you're watching it. Mm-hmm. All right. That's cool. Nice. Thanks. All right. Yeah. Um <laughs> what just since this is gonna go out, it's a WCO watch cartoons online stream. Okay, um, word. W- wcostream.com all right awesome sweet yeah the only the only animes that i've ever seen is like avatar the last airbender such a good one yeah like i watched that in like second grade or something like that and then i watched it again like a few years ago and then uh naruto and a little bit of dragon ball z but yeah. I watched Dragon Ball Z when it was on Cartoon Network a long time ago, right. and I got really excited when Vegeta said hell on TV. I was like, oh. <laughs> They're not supposed to be saying that on here right. for kids. <laughs> it was awesome, though. I was I was young, young, young. So 
Did you watch all of it? I, I'm pretty sure there's like so many episodes. There right? is so many. I've not seen all of it. I've not seen all of it. Are they still making episodes? Yeah, they're making Dragon Ball Super still, I think. Oh my god. Yeah, it's gotten so crazy. They have like Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Uh, maybe it's gotten a little out of hand. I don't know. <laughs> right, yeah. No, it's gotten crazy. But I yeah. mean, I guess they can keep making merchandise out of it so it's still a cash cow and they're gonna pump it for all they can true that yeah it's isn't it it's one of the biggest animes of all time right now I oh think. yeah yeah for sure for sure i feel like dragon ball z has more fans than than any other anime like alone but of course like you can be a fan of dragon ball z and a fan of every other anime too so mm -hmm. it's not like they're exclusive yeah i really i really like that show though because like how like power up and it's like they're almost using like their chakras basically yeah right? isn't it chakras yeah like they're that? they're chi yeah they're chi. running they uh since uh the saiyans are like a more advanced race and they're also uh in tune with nature more because they they get a super supercharged power up from the moon mm -hmm. so i feel like their chakras are way more um way more powerful or way more uh in tune or just yeah. whatever and that's what gives them the the ability to go super saiyan wait because they're connected with the moon you said yeah they're connected with the moon and connected more with nature i feel like mm, yeah if, interesting uh, when they're uh if they're not like messed with when they're kids they have a they have a tail oh yeah 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 right and for some reason the tail makes them turn into a giant monkey <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, they, they're like a were monkey or something. Yeah, like the werewolf kind of thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but like, I think at some point they can control it. Mm -hmm. We but definitely it, have an alternate universe out there somewhere where this is like happening. <laughs> I was talking to one of my friends, and they were talking about the different dimensions and the levels of reality and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he was telling me that I guess. Uh, video games themselves are a whole a whole different dimension so it made me think of like when you're playing a video game how you're in a whole different dimension of tv is kind of like a portal or the it's TV true glasses or whatever yeah it's true i could see that definitely and they're like real they're like actually real and they don't even oh, know yeah. it basically yeah the npcs and every everything's real imagine like when you when you wake up in, in the rising, when you get up, like that's someone getting online and playing a video game. Yeah, right? <laughs> they got people, yeah, they got like a controller. I thought about that before a long time ago, yeah. It's so crazy. Yeah, yeah, it is. So what uh, you want to, uh, you wanted to talk about sun gazing. Oh, let's yeah, 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 that. yeah. Let's, yeah, let's talk about that because there's so many people getting into this, especially myself. I've been, I, the other day I tried to, I was staring at the sun. Um, I first heard about this from Spiritual So. It's like, oh, okay. Spiritual So. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, I think I've heard of him. I don't know if I mm -hmm. have interacted too much with him. Yeah, he makes YouTube videos and that's where I first heard about him. He would be like explaining like, like you, you're getting so much like of this higher dimensional like information. Basically, you're getting like do like downloads basically from the yeah. sun when you're meditating with your eyes open. And yeah, actually, tell us a little more about that because I'm not super familiar with it. I'm trying to get into it more myself. Okay, <laughs> so you when you're when you're first starting out, you don't want to start and just like stare at the sun whenever. You want to start uh, at the first 15 minutes of the day. Get uh, probably about a minute in that time when you're first starting out. Because if you do it and there's the, the UV rays are too bright, they'll hurt your retinas and you don't wanna do that, that's counterproductive. What you wanna do is get it to where there's little to no UV, uh, UV rays so you can look at it for uh, a long, long enough period of time. Mm -hmm. And over time, it charges, your, it charges your, um, your astral body and your physical body and your emotional body. It charges all those bodies. Mm -hmm. And after so long, you can watch the whole, the whole sunset and the whole sunrise. Mm -hmm. our, um, our ancestors used to do this and not even realize it, like sitting on beaches and stuff and watching mm -hmm. the sunset. They were sun gazing and they didn't even know. Right. And they, they kind of passed down the tradition. But 
it does so many th- so many good things for us. And there are so many, um, a lot of celebrities that are really big for their creative energy mm-hmm. are coming out and saying how they, uh, how they sun gaze. Like Mod Sun is a really, a really big one. He, uh, yeah, I saw you, put, you uh, retweeted him. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, when he was, uh, his, his really early music, he talks about how he's been, uh, watching the sunrise every day for the last hmm. six months and he hasn't missed one. Wow. And if you notice, uh, as he as he progresses his music gets like so much better by like leaps and bounds it's mm. crazy better and a lot of people have similar experiences with sun gazing because it's charging it's charging your chakras it's mm-hmm. charging your third eye it's charging your uh your crown chakra mm-hmm. and all of all of these chakras help us in using our creative energy in ways that can I guess progress us mm-hmm. towards our further in our path, and the using the energy of the sun is just kind of like a, a power up. Mm. Also, when you when you do this and you look at the sun, um, when you do what? When you when you look at the sun when it's rising, when you sun gaze, as you're as you're doing it, oh, okay. uh, over I think it's three months three months you'll be fully charged if you do it for about a minute a minute a day ah. yeah three months you'll be fully charged and you'll be able to you'll be able to watch the full the full sunrise or the full sunset so after three months doing it every day for a minute yeah got gotcha. uh, you you continuously progress by like 10 seconds every day so should you do so it's sunrise and sunset right both yeah you can do both yes so um, if you do a minute for the sunrise, can you do a minute for a sunset? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's, it's, it doesn't, you just, you just want to go based on how you feel. Mm-hmm. So you don't want to burn your eyeballs out and not be able to see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if it feels good to you, do it for longer. If it feels like mm-hmm. it hurts, do it for less. Mm-hmm. I started out, I didn't know that you shouldn't just look at the sun whenever. So I started out just looking at the sun whenever. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh geez. But I was, I, I wouldn't like stare directly at the sun at like high noon. I would wait until I could look at the sun. So like, okay. when I, was, oh, when I, I see. Was, yeah. So, and it really helped me out and uh, it feels like a good meal after so long. Yeah. You are consuming it and yeah, you've, I personally, I feel warm on the inside when I look at the sun for so long. So do you, are you, are you meditating as you, you're staring at the sun? Like yeah, focusing on meditative your breath? breath? Yeah. That's, that's all you're yeah. doing basically, right? Yeah. A big thing also, uh, if you want the, the full connection is to ground, put your bare feet to the earth. Okay. Yeah. It's a, uh, it kind of completes the circuit if you. Makes sense. You, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've read about something the other day like powerful like solar events have had like an influence on major things going on in the world i don't remember exactly what it is but yeah um during the solar flares a lot of uh different things happen i couldn't tell you exactly like what but you know how during the full moons and stuff we have uh lunatics i guess i uh the <laughs> that's the, funny the sun brings in like higher vibrational frequencies uh-huh. oh you cut you're cutting out brother <laughs> uh you cut out sorry there <laughs> oh that's all right uh am i still cutting out no you're good now <laughs> okay yeah my internet connection's unstable, I guess. Oh, it's all saying. good. Yeah, you, uh, so you were saying uh, the sun has higher vibrational energy. Yeah, and uh, the longer we get this this higher vibrational frequency, the higher, the higher levels will be consciously as a collective, but also the more stuff it burns out of us. So the, hard, mm. the harder the lows will be at this time. The heart because of the it's it's like purging us so if if you're staring into the sun you're saying it'll bring out the lows more as well like purge more yeah okay yeah gotcha. and it just as a collective as well 
as a collective as well. That's a, so how long have you been doing it for? Since I was 18. Since you're eight, How old are you now? I'm 23. 23. So you've been doing it for a good bit. Yeah, I, I don't do it every day. Right now, I live in the city, so it's harder for me to do it. Oh, uh, yeah. But I do get it, ev- like, every time I can. Wow. Every chance I get, yeah. It's it's actually harder living in the city because I, I like being I like being in nature. And I know. After, I can ride my bike to nature, but it's, like, a couple miles no matter what. So, mm-hmm. and that's that's nice either way. So, I get out and do that uh, every once in a get while. Get your exercise. Yeah. So, you but, do it for 15 minutes every day? Uh, no, 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 no. Um, I would probably, because I don't do it super consistently, I'd probably burn my eyeballs doing it out like okay. that. Okay. <laughs> but when I do do it, I do it for a couple minutes at least. A couple minutes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I would say I'd, I'd need to do it consistently for another few months before I could do a full sunset or a full sunrise. Oh man, I guess I've been doing it wrong. I just... I, I've been starting out doing it for like 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> That's okay. If you're comfortable doing that, take in yeah, all that energy. Okay. No, I also, I heard like if there's, so I have like trees kind of blocking, so oh, I can yeah, like kind of okay. see the sun, but like some So it's a little filtered. Exactly. That's probably why you can do it for so long. I guess so. Yeah. I feel like for me, like sunsets are a little easier, but maybe that's because I don't have a good view actually here. Yeah. Yeah, that that probably is the case. Sunsets yeah. are also, I feel like they're more filtered by the atmosphere because they get they get the the real different colors. Like you sometimes get the True. pink and the purple. Red. And it's so beautiful. Yeah, red. Oh yeah. All kinds of just gorgeous colors. Yeah. So is it, so is like when you, you started when you were around eighteen. Is this when you started getting into like spirituality and stuff? Yeah, yeah. They all were kind of bundled up. I I was a uh, a big fan of chakras and like kundalini energy when I was really younger mm-hmm. I would get I would get really hot my whole body would get hot in the winter it doesn't matter it would just get really mm. hot and it was my I guess my kundalini energy just firing up and mm-hmm. I, would, I would get to the point where I would just pour sweat and I, wow. I'd be in the snow and I'd I'd have to strip <laughs> down yeah really yeah it was crazy so you and, were meditating for this to happen uh, no, it just happened. Just happened. It just happened. Wow. I was I was young, so I didn't really know what what was going on. So as soon <laughs> as I as soon as I got the internet, man, everything changed. <laughs> True, you can look up anything you want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, bringing us all together. I love it. It's beautiful, and I'm I'm so grateful for it, and I'm True. I'm glad we have it. Such a blessing. Absolutely. So, like, were you meditating a lot though? Like, you weren't like feeling all this heat and stuff while you're meditating but you would feel it after like meditation so when i was younger i would i would meditate without really knowing i was meditating oh okay so like you know how you space off like just kind of start daydreaming kind of like that yeah kind of that was kind of my form of meditation when i was younger and i guess that's what led me to Mm. activating my kundalini and having it burn so hot um but once i once i really discovered like diaphragmic breathing and uh uh, meditation techniques Mm -hmm. it it really uh progressed me and my path towards being able to control my uh my energy and my my breathing and my emotions and my thoughts Mm -hmm. so you would kind of just you would just daydream basically yeah. kind of like think about whatever kind of just you kind of like seeing it in your mind's eye just whatever exactly. comes to mind exactly like you like going off in my own imaginary world mm-hmm. wow. a lot of a lot of times i would see just uh like sacred geometry and not know what i was really seeing mm-hmm. like the the uh wow. so yeah, like the dodecahedron and the uh, the Metatron's cube appeared to me a lot when I was a really? kid. Really? Yeah. So I just sacred, daydreaming? Yeah. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> just like meditating on the sacred geometry and not even knowing it. So how long would you like see it? Would it like come fleeting in and out or it would stay there for a while? It depends. Like when I was, when I would go to sleep, it would stay for hours. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. And it would, it would always be very, very vivid and very bright. And as wow. I got, as I got older and kind of like lost touch with it, it doesn't, it's not like that anymore. But when I meditate, I can still get 
pretty close to it. Uh huh. Wow, dude, that's incredible. I just watched a TikTok right now. It was saying like, when you're getting in touch with higher dimensional entities, they might appear to you as like this kind of like vortex of like sacred geometry and all this. Like, oh wow! And I didn't know that before. I mean, so it could have it could have been higher dimensional entities yeah Can't. you were connecting with them i guess <laughs> wow that's awesome yeah that's incredible I, i've only been able to see that through my recent like lucid dreams and astral projections that's it but yeah i actually need to get more into uh meditating and my lucid dreams and stuff mm -hmm. do you use any um any um frequencies any hertz for for lucid dreaming. yeah yeah recently i've been getting into just listening to theta so i'd wake up about six hours after falling asleep so i'm still kind of like i'm able to like go right back to like you know borderline sleep state really quickly. yeah in and out right and then yeah so i would listen to theta I, i've been turning on theta because when you're in a deep meditation your brain goes to theta it goes from alpha to theta and then like if you're really in a great spot in a great space you're gonna get to gamma but Theta is what I've been using. It's been working. It's pretty. It's been cool. <laughs> what um? Can you send me some links? Yeah, totally. Yeah, I, I like screenshot it a few times on my on my story. But yeah, I'll send that over to you. Awesome. It's yeah, just thank the you. The tone. I like the tone without like the external like noises going on. Yeah, I used to listen <laughs> to binary beats a lot when I was a kid. When I first got access to yeah. YouTube, I don't know what like that's what, what led is. me. What led me down the what led me down the path but i started looking into like hypnotism and binary beats and i feel like it unlocked something in me to just keep yeah. going into yeah i don't I know i first got into like i was seeing like oh you can feel like super trippy and stuff like if you listen yeah. to this i'm like all right let me try it out <laughs> <laughs> let's do this yeah exactly <laughs> but i've the, always dude, liked plant medicine plant medicine yeah so like psychedelics and like uh-huh um i don't really know like how old your audience is so i don't want to condone the use <laughs> of like a bunch of stuff but right. i've always been a i've always been a big fan of of changing your state of consciousness mm -hmm. and not not only through uh the help of plant medicines but also through meditation and through right um right psychedelics are just a things. tool exactly exactly it, yeah. um I was told by uh, one of my one of my good friends, and I would say even uh, semi guru ish, uh -huh. um, that once you feel, and you don't even have to feel the substance, but once you have felt the substance, you don't need to ever do it again. You can just mm -hmm. recall it, and you can feel it in your body. All right, it's all memory. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But all uh, right, so you're also into a lot of other. Um, medicinal oh yeah plant like based plant medicine yeah. right yeah so like tell us a little plant. bit tell us a little bit about that like how'd you get into that so i um i discovered uh someone on youtube named ralph smart uh, yes infinite waters Me, yeah bro. and um he was talking a lot about the seven day vegan challenge mm -hmm. and i already knew that i didn't like to eat meat from when i was a kid because I used to be forced to eat meat and like forced to eat, you know, that whole, you got to sit here until you eat all the mm -hmm. crap on your plate yeah. and they would make your plate and it'd be like an adult sized plate. Yeah. It was terrible, man. Like people, or more, at least my parents didn't know how to raise me. <laughs> right. You intuitively so, just knew. Exactly. And every time that I was forced to eat meat or every time that I did eat meat, I just felt bad. I felt bad. <clears throat> so as soon as I was, uh, presented with a paradigm shift or this new perspective of right. you don't have to eat animal mm. products I kind of just went with it and um, after the seven days I was like I feel so good I don't want to go back to eating mm -hmm. animal products at all because I felt so good mm -hmm. and uh, that led me to just uh, researching as much as I could about all the minerals and the vitamins that our body needs mm -hmm. and uh to building a kind of a lifestyle around where I can be able to do what I want and eat what I want. And um, learning how to do that 
has probably been the biggest challenge because right. just eating fruit when you're coming off of eating a lot of just probably a lot more than you need to eat, honestly, mm-hmm. then you get hungry a lot. Yeah. So I, I was just, that. I, my, my best advice was to just eat so much like fruits and vegetables that you have no room for anything else. Mm-hmm. So what I did was I just packed <laughs> eat so much fruit and vegetables that I yeah. couldn't eat anything else. And it got, <laughs> it did get expensive at a point, but I, uh, my, my thought, my mentality on it was why not put the investment into my health now and not into the doctor's pockets later. Vax. Yeah. That makes a lot much. That's what makes a lot of sense. Were you eating nuts as well or just like the fruits? Yeah. And yeah. Nuts as well. I, nuts uh, as well. Yeah. I, um, I like to work out. Uh, so if I just eat fruit and vegetables, I don't get as much gains. Right. Cause it has a lot of protein, the nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the biggest, uh, the biggest, uh, thing was finding out like what things are good and what doesn't have a bunch of pesticides in it. Yeah. Because, yeah. 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 I want to eat as healthy as possible and I want, um, I want to get as much nutrition as possible. So mm-hmm. making the switch to organic was another big thing. Yeah. You, you're getting, you're getting double the nutrients. Exactly. It's, it's definitely worth paying a little bit more and you're helping mm-hmm. out the farmers that are farming organic. Right. And you, it, I, and you should definitely be getting local organic, right? Because oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cause when food's coming from the other side of the world, it's already losing so much of its nutrients, right? Yeah. And you, it's being shipped and more often than not, it's being frozen. Frozen. And, yeah. I, that's all right. Like if you're going to use it for like a smoothie or whatever, but you want fresh fruit like mm-hmm. this, this melon right here. Oh, yeah, nice. that's that looks good. <laughs> from a local farm. Good. Organic. The melon was like, oh my gosh, it was so big and it's so juicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I love yeah, go ahead. One of the one of the things I've been finding out very recently is like you know, we don't need a lot of protein, I've been finding out. Oh, and don't. that a lot of protein's actually bad for you, like really bad for your yeah. like, blood vessels. And, um, yeah, and, 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 and you, it's, it's weird because you see this whole shift, I feel like, recently in our, like, grocery stores, like, more protein, more protein, more protein. And it's like, we actually don't need that much, I found out. Yeah, the marketing makes you think that you need a bunch. Mm-hmm. You don't need a bunch. And a lot of it you can get from vegetables. Maybe not as much in fruits, but there is yeah. some protein in fruits. But, like, spinach has a lot of protein. Spinach. And kale has a lot of protein. Kale. And, uh, yeah. I'm not sure about lettuce, honestly. I think I don't think lettuce water. does. Yeah, <laughs> lettuce is like one of the lesser nutritional ones, actually. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and if you do get lettuce, make sure it's dark green, like as green as right. you possibly get. Yeah, it. the light That's ones, not nah. for the nutrients. Is that <laughs> yeah. Watercress, I that's what yes, infinite oh waters God, is so big yes. on. I haven't had yeah. like I haven't had much of that. I've only had it one time. It was in mm-hmm. California. It's the yeah. only place I've ever been able to find it. Really? Yeah. yeah Otherwise, you got to order it online, and that's that's the same thing with the, right. the shipping. It I you're know. losing unless you get it like dried and powdered. But even then, I'm pretty sure you're losing some stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I've been actually doing the powders. I got like chlorella i got the chlorella. oh yeah yeah um, chlorella is great spirulina. spirulina yep yep exactly oh um, it's so nutrient oh yeah right. maca is good too maca yes yeah you can overdo maca though and like get a hormone imbalance so make oh, sure really? you, yeah make sure you don't overdo it mm. wow yeah i didn't know that <laughs> yeah i guess it's it has a little bit of fertility issues too if you overdo it so Oh, really just, just be conscious with it but it yeah. makes it makes things taste so freaking good yeah it's like chocolatey basically it's got such a good smell too it's one of my mm-hmm. favorite smells out of all the powders i use mm-hmm. um a lot of people say you know i feel like the biggest thing that people always say when it comes down to a vegan or vegetarian diet is you can't get all your nutrients that's what they always say well um it depends how you eat and honestly most people that are eating the standard American diet 
uh, or sad <laughs> are not getting <laughs> are not getting even close to the nutrients that vegans and vegetarians are getting mm. because most of them they only want to eat meat they only want to eat mm-hmm. cheese they don't want to eat any other thing that actually gives them nutrients mm-hmm. right and you can you can see it in not only the people and their emotions and the way sure. things are happening, but you can see it in the statistics of like obesity. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure pretty sure America clogging them arteries. Yeah, killing people, straight yeah, killing people. I know. And then they go, and then they go to the doctors and they fund the doctors' pockets by getting medication. Right, coming to the Heart doctor medicine. all the time. Mm-hmm all the time Mm -hmm. and they give away all their power because they're not taught that they can heal themselves and i say they as in like a general term for whoever doesn't have this knowledge and that doesn't make anybody any better or any worse than anybody else it just means that they've learned things or they know things that other people don't and that's exactly what we do things like this for so we can teach people yeah exactly you know, it's interesting. I watched this one Joe Rogan podcast. He Love was Joe saying, Rogan. yeah, me too. <laughs> he was saying that he went on solely just eating meat for a whole month. Yeah, the carnivore diet. Yeah. And he was explaining like he did he he was like way more aggressive, he was saying, like way yeah. more aggressive and like like not level-headed it seemed like you know like probably really high levels of testosterone plus yeah, depending, yeah, yeah. On, depending on the meat that you eat you get all the uh all the antibiotics and the hormones that they pump into the meat to be able to put it on the market true that and oh my gosh have you seen some of these documentaries of where they go into the factory farms i have seen they, some they see the the big they'll be like this big of cancerous tumors and they'll cut oh, them open oh. and squeeze all the <laughs> stuff out and then they'll send it back through with all the oh, other meat no. and they'll send that to the public and the public eats it up oh and then when the old stuff when the stuff on the shelf gets old they send that back and they put it in with newer newer meat and then they put blood in it and make, to make oh, it red. And they, then they do put that? that back out on the shelf. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know they did that one. Oh. Ugh. Ah, yeah. It's sketchy. It's sketchy stuff eating meat. <laughs> it's sketchy even eating the vegan meat and stuff. Because oh yeah, I, that's a good point. There was a there was a study on that. It was a long time ago, but there was a study on that where like a big percentage of that had like two percent uh two percent animal uh protein in it really? and also also some of it had like human protein in it so like human what? dna and animal dna yeah like it was only like a really small amount but still still that there. does not need to be there no not at all Uh uh-uh. not at all and the people don't even realize that monsanto one of the biggest gmo companies bought uh what's it called is it beyond meats or is it's like an it's an, like another big one, you know, vegan. Um, is it? They might own Morningstar. I think Morningstar. They, it might be. I that think one. they own Morningstar. Yep. Yeah, they've owned Morningstar for a long time, and they they're moving away from the GMO stuff. They say, but do we know that? Who mm-hmm. is there? An independent person that's just going to go around and test all of them? No, no, no there's not. Yeah, and really, the 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 regulations. We're just trusting these companies. Mm-hmm. The only thing that we see is a sticker or like a little oh. label. Sure. That we don't know where any of this stuff comes from. You really don't. You'd have to inquire yourself. And even if you try to do that, they'll probably shut the door on your face. Exactly. Because they don't want to tell you that they're spraying pesticides on it so much that the people have to wear hazmat suits to go collect it. Mm-hmm. They, don't, they don't want to tell you that these seeds have been GMO bred to the point where they make people infertile. Mm-hmm. They don't want to tell you all this stuff. And when they, when they, they try to say that this roundup, I, I saw a, an interview, an interview of uh, this executive for roundup, the Monsanto uh, company, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. An executive saying, literally says, it's safe enough to drink. And then he gets offered a glass and he's like, you're insane. <laughs> he's, he's like freaking out because he thinks that he might have to drink it because he just said it was okay to drink. Wow. And 
He's yeah. like, I'm not dumb. I'm not going to drink that. And it's, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. How are they going to like straight lie to people because they're making money? That's mm-hmm. awful. That's awful. And you're, you're messing up our whole entire world just for a little bit of paper that you can make in any other way, any yeah. other way. Right. You can do it ethically. Like you can, right. you can make your money doing good things. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I, I really admire the people like the artists and the people, people like you that make content and, and get out there and they teach people and they provide a service and that's going to come back to you, buddy. I appreciate that. You too, Real man. <laughs> you too. Yeah. You, yeah. Like, like I said, like I told you before, I started following you for like all, all of the amazing, like nutritional stuff you were posting made sure my little brother followed that page when once he got his instagram like you're making a big impact as well yeah Huge and impact, I, I really appreciate that i'm gonna get back to posting more more health-based content because i want i want to share that knowledge too mm-hmm. um but i feel like a lot of this a lot of the stuff i've been posting lately is like knowledge and like uh astrological and like spiritual and um mm-hmm. And uh, like memes, like to make people laugh. I feel like people need that energy right now. Yeah, you got some funny stuff on there. <laughs> yeah. It's true. People need that right now. It's true. Yeah. And I, I, intuitively, I feel like I just post what I feel like people need. And a lot of the times, like people are asking me for these certain things and I'll, I'll post it if I can get to it. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. I mean, you're following your intuition. That's the most important thing. Exactly. Intuition that- is higher intelligence. Oh yeah, you should you should um, always follow your intuition. Make sure you clean your gut first, though. <laughs> yeah, true. Drink some kombucha. Yeah, have I just you bought some today? Yeah, do you like shilajit? Uh, dude, yeah, I I I got it like a long time ago, a long time ago. Just one little thing of it. It's um, it's good for uh, uh, clearing your pineal gland of uh, calcification. Oh really? So, of the fluoride and stuff. Yeah. And it's also good for like every other thing in your body. It's got like 83 minerals in it. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, it's actually good for um, patients that use medical marijuana. If you drink Shilajit and then wait 10 minutes, it helps the cannabinoid receptors receive the um, the uh, medical benefits from the, the plant better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, it, doesn't it come from like the mountains? Yeah, the Himalayan mountains. <laughs> Himalayan mountains, right? Yeah, I saw. I saw you had a lot of posts about that. Actually, like your stories, you had like three different highlights for that or something. Yeah, it's super good for you, and it's got like folic acid and all kinds of other stuff in it, mm-hmm. and it's so good for your brain and your body. And I think a lot of I think a lot of people would benefit from from taking it. And it's it's um, it's like coffee. For Isn't me, it? it's like coffee. Really? It's like an energy boost. I've never liked coffee. Because oh, I, yeah. always, I always crash and also caffeine's a, a neurotoxin. So I've always, I've always uh, kind of gravitated away from it. Hmm. But when I, when I found this and I started using it, I was like, wow, that's a really, a really good energy boost. Yeah, does it last? Oh, yeah, all day. Dude, I might need to get some. I drink coffee every day now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you benefit <laughs> a lot from that. Okay, good. So, wow, I didn't realize, you know. So it's a neurotoxin. Coffee is a neurotoxin. Caffeine, yeah. Caffeine. Okay. Wow, that's that's not good. Yeah. I, I and, didn't think it was that bad. Um well it's it's not like it's gonna like kill you right away. It's not as bad of a neurotoxin as like fluoride is, but of course it's still it's still doing damage. It's it's doing damage to your brain. Like sugar oh, is man. even a neurotoxin, it rewires your brain. Yeah. Well, the artificial sugars are bad. Not yeah. the not the fruit sugars. <laughs> oh no, not the fruit sugars. Yeah, not yeah. The fruit sugars. And the refined sugars. Refined no, sugars. Not, fruit sugars are actually what your body Great. runs on. Exactly. So that's what gives your body energy. Yeah. So the most bio bioavailable uh, fuel source for your body. Man, I didn't realize coffee was a neurotoxin. And I'm here trying to like, you know, boost my, you know my electric electromagnetic field and my chakras you know i'm self i'm sabotaging myself then <laughs> uh, don't don't feel bad about it at least you know now that's true but yeah, now um, i realize i'm sabotaging myself there's a lot of things that uh like we're sabotaging ourselves over and we don't even like realize it 
like even being around the wrong person the for a few truth. minutes is <laughs> it can be self-sabotaging if you yeah. listen and you let that seep into you this is true just being yeah. conscious of conscious to just of, be aware you can't let yeah. it like you can't just like you know like absorb it exactly into yourself exactly oh uh be uh be an aware sponge aware sponge i like that yeah yeah like aware and just observe it but don't let it like you know affect you in that deep exactly. way Exactly. And if it is something that you don't want into your life, take it as that. Don't take it as something that you have to repeat or something that you have to live out. Mm -hmm. Like I learned a lot of what I don't want from my parents and from uh, people around me and like from my own mistakes, even I've learned a lot of what I don't want and that's made me a better person and realizing what I do want. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you figure out what you do want, the law of attraction takes over. I mean, it's always working, but it takes over mm-hmm. and it takes what you want. And it's like, I got you and yeah. gives you more and yeah, more and yeah. more. Yeah. As long as you, you know, you know what you need. Cause there's a Make lot of people, decision. they want their lives to get better and stuff, but they don't, they don't have it like, you know, written down. They don't know exactly this. They don't know they what want. they want. They don't know what they want. And that's the biggest yeah. thing. And I, you can start with as like as little as you want. You can start with like what kind of day you want exactly. and then just build, build from that. Like anything else, practice and build mm-hmm. and focus your energy True that. Yeah. So I saw you had the secret written in your bio. Yes. I love the secret. The, the law of attraction has always been a, a huge um, magnet for me. I've always, mm-hmm. always gravitated towards it. Every time I, heard anything about it as a kid every time i heard anything about it as an adult or teenager i just absorbed it like like it was my food for my soul Mm -hmm. so you heard it before you're like you're when you turn is there spiritual awakening when you turn 18 is that yeah okay yeah i would say that um i like dabbled as a kid and stuff but i didn't know what it was or what i was doing Mm. or anything about it so uh, the awareness really came when I was 18. I see. Gotcha. Yeah, like we'll hear a lot of things when we're little and then it'll be, it'll be amazing stuff and then we won't realize till later. Till later, yeah. Well, like, wait a second. Like, that's actually pretty sick. <laughs> that's uh, A lot of shows are like that too. Like you'll watch them the first True, time. yeah. Not not really uh, assimilate what's what they're talking about and then mm-hmm. go back later and watch it with different knowledge and a different perspective. Mm-hmm. And you'll learn so much about what you missed before. Yeah. Yeah. True a, that. a lot of our culture, I feel like is, um, is learned from TV shows and stuff because when, when our parents and stuff were growing up, they watched a ton of TV because it was the new thing. Mm-hmm. And then it just became like, you know, the television and uh, mm-hmm. programming. It's what it was intended for, but we used it as a, a way to escape reality like we do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we think we're watching it to relax and get away, but it's actually programming because it's a mm-hmm. TV program, television program. That's the obvious truth right there as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's, um, there's this, uh, this study forget what it's by but it's like it's a bunch of letters and numbers you can look up and then it takes you to this study where uh the uh it tells you about how they use the tvs and the uh radio frequencies to manipulate our emotions and Mm -hmm. our our um our our uh our biological structure our molecular structure Mm -hmm. so they'll use like they can they can flicker like a certain color so many times and they'll make us sad or oh, they'll mm. flicker flicker it so many times or flicker like blue or like blue and yellow at the same time and it'll make us hungry oh really yeah so like that's a, a technology i feel like i don't know for sure but i feel mm. like they they perfected that through the like movie theaters yeah that makes sense maybe they're a like, certain scene yeah they're like flash this thing real quick and see if they get hungry and go get popcorn uh, yeah true yeah <laughs> subliminal stuff yeah a lot of music is like that too they'll uh implant subliminal uh messages into your subconscious and like yeah make you want to 
fucking go do drugs or whatever. Yeah. I, that's what I'm like now. Like, honestly, I, I haven't listened to rap in like a while now. I've been listening to like a bunch of rock, like stuff about nature. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hertz frequency. Hertz yeah. frequencies are really nice too. Yeah. True I like, that. um, I like classical. I've always been classical is good classical. and it's been shown. It's been shown that that's what I like high vibrational music. Oh, absolutely. They Especially like, when you got classical that's tuned to like four. Oh, yeah. Even four, better. Or 32 hertz or four, Even five, better. Yeah. Yeah. They, they froze water. They, they played classical oh. music to water, froze it, and then looked at what it looked like. And it, it had this very beautiful crystalline structure. That's and, awesome. Yeah. When they played metal to water and then froze it, it looked horrible. Yeah. Know, horrible. Yeah. So. Um, that's, it's all about the vibrations and the intentions of the words that you're putting in a thing exactly. there. I don't remember what his name was, but he did an experiment on water and he would say that he loves you. I love you to the water and the yeah. water froze in like a that's very it. beautiful. That's it. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Dr. Emoto. Yeah. Em- Emasaro yeah. Emoto, I think. <laughs> yeah. He's a uh, awesome person. I'm yeah. really, really glad he did his experiments. Yeah. I was telling someone about that and they wouldn't believe me. They were like thought i was full of shit yeah but just like they just wanted to stay asleep on it they didn't even want right. to give me a chance to explain it they didn't want to see anything about it they were just like no it's not true man bots bro bots yeah. people some yeah. people are so ignorant and, they, and it really it's it's really a, a lack of caring they don't want to learn yeah yeah, it's it, yeah, it's it's a shame how that is in our system today in our society. Hey, I like your but, shirt. Is that an alien? Oh, uh, what? what? Oh this? no! Yeah, oh, I thought it was a little alien. Oh, uh, <laughs> this is the logo. This is my logo. But, I, but I do have an eye right here. Third awesome. eye right there. Yeah, my I got a Mandela on. on. Mandela. Oh, Ooh, nice. Oh, that's cool. And then I got a uh, that's uh, moonstone. That's Moonstone? Yeah, this right here. Nice. That looks yeah. super cool. I'm a Cancer, so it, it really uh, resonates hard with me. Cause my, Is that your birthstone? Uh, it's not my birthstone. My birthstone's actually either emerald or ruby. Pretty sure oh, okay. it's emerald, but for a long time, I thought it was ruby. Um, uh. <laughs> but the Moonstone, the moon is my uh, my ruling planet on... Um, you know how you like you have the ascending and the, yeah, the moon, yeah, yeah, moon yeah. sign? I, over... Th- Three of my three of my signs not over, but three of my signs are Cancer. Mm. So the moon Whoa. is like my my ruling planet. Uh huh. Wow, three. Yeah, three. Aren't, aren't they usually like different, right? Yeah, usually. Um, sometimes you'll get uh, doubles and like stuff, but yeah, three of mine are Cancer. Oh wow! So that moonstone must be powerful for you, bro. Oh yeah, like <laughs> uh, new moons and full moons are very powerful for me too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, when I was talking about like how I'd heat up when I was a kid, yeah, yeah, that would yeah. happen a lot around the full moons and the new moons. Really? Yeah, wow. I didn't know it at the time, but yeah. You weren't wearing your your crystal then, though, right? No, I was I was young. <laughs> I was like real young, like below ten. That's that's insane, dude. Yeah, you just you just had this in, like insane spiritual connection at a really young age, man. Yeah, I feel like I uh, I was probably probably reincarnated from. I feel like I've, I've, I think I've so. lived I've lived on Earth a lot, but I also feel like I've been to, uh, been to other places. Yeah, I, I I can see it, dude. You're an old soul. <laughs> I feel the same way, honestly. Like, yeah, definitely. This planet, you know, like I can just you know it's something you just intuitively feel. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Amber Alert. <laughs> oh no <laughs> get on the streets look out yeah watch out <laughs> but wow yeah man that's incredible have, so have you not seen those i just want to bring that come back to this have you not ne- not seen those like um those like sacred geometry kind of things like the dodecahedron have you seen that like at all since you were a child Oh yeah, yeah. When I go into deep meditation or like in my in my dreams, I see them, but wow. not not very often in my like conscious state. Like while I'm awake, oh, yeah, yeah. I have to be in a, a deep meditational state. And I feel like when I was younger, I was always in a deep meditational state. I was mm-hmm. always breathing from my diaphragm, and I 
I would see hmm. people breathe from their chest, and I thought I was breathing wrong. <laughs> wow. But really, I, I discovered that I was breathing what meditative breathing. I wouldn't say breathing right or breathing wrong. But uh-huh. well, yeah. That's really cool how you knew that as well, intuitively. Yeah. It was, it was, um, you know how like you have epiphanies and you're like, wow, I've been doing something like so good for me for so long and mm-hmm. didn't even know. It's mm-hmm. kind of like that. It's kind of like I've been discovering stuff about me mm-hmm. since, since I was a kid. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. When we're, when we're little our so right now our brain waves are in beta usually in waking state, but when we're little, it's, it's actually, I think in alpha. So we're yeah. more of a suggestive, like closer to our subconscious. We're closer connected with that. Right. And that's why uh, um, when, when things happen to us as a little kid, mm-hmm. if we're told, if we're told they'll go a certain way, they do because we are the co-creators of this yeah. collective reality. And we are, we're definitely the creators of our own reality mm-hmm. and our body is a big part of our reality. Yeah. So we have the ability to be like, no, I'm not going to get sick. I'll never, like, I'll not get any diseases. And that shit will happen because yeah. as, as long as you are focused on that, focused it's on true. health, then, yeah, you're, you're the creator. You attract what into your life what you want and what you don't want even. Yeah. And Especially I've been reading. what you don't want. <laughs> yeah, true that. I've been reading uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza's book, Becoming Supernatural, and he's helped oh, so yeah. many people heal, like, miraculous miraculous healings Incredible. yeah i've always i've always resonated with uh energy healers and mm-hmm. uh just energy healing in general i've always always loved that mm-hmm. and i started i started um uh like playing with my energy uh around 16 like um <laughs> i found an energy technique to where you could just like ball up like this and start mm-hmm. feeling your energy pool in your in your palms and then you'll if you uh imagine like a ball of energy you uh-huh. start to feel it form and i would practice that for like hours and i really? can, like just doing this i feel the energy pulling up already yeah you do yeah wow Try it. yeah it's like uh the the um connecting the uh circuits mm and then you pull it apart and you can like feel it. I mean, I feel well like and, I feel it. Yeah. 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 And that's a good way to play with your energy and to just like make it stronger and to feel it and to, you can pulse it and, and you can then once you have like a good, like energy ball stored up, you can put it anywhere in your body you want. And then that'll, that for me mm. helps me put energy into places where I'm sore or whatever from the day or that I feel like that's not getting enough oxygen. Wow. That's amazing. And then, and then it, it feels like I'm getting all the oxygen or all the anything that I need in that area. You try putting it into each of your chakras, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. You tried that, yeah? Yeah. And I feel like um, uh, one of my uh, Tai Chi moves, it's um, you take balls of energy. Uh, balls in the valley is what it's called. Mm-hmm. You take balls of energy from up above your head to, your, uh, to below your, your root chakra. And I, I imagine the energy, mm. I imagine grabbing some energy from the stream of consciousness or the stream from source from my crown chakra and just mm-hmm. taking it and putting it through my root chakra and then sending it back up and then mm. like cycling that. Total and that helps flow. me a lot. Yeah, exactly. Right. So we, we have the, we have the chakra that's like right above our head. It's called, Ra. is it Ra? Is, is that what it's called? R-A, I think um like above our crown chakra we have an additional one i'm not sure yeah 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 like kind of recently found out we had an extra chakra right above our head i knew we yeah i knew we had the seven and then we have the extensional ones but i didn't i'm not really familiar with all the other ones because there's like over 120 of them or probably even more than that true yeah depending on like who you ask and what Mm -hmm. what uh uh, what culture you're looking into and all i mean that. i believe it i can i believe it <laughs> let me literally see less than 0.1 percent of the light spectrum right we're so um 
<laughs> we're so limited in our our human abilities right but our mind our mind can open up those things like our junk yeah. dna it's not junk we it's just not. gotta activate you it just gotta activate it how, how much junk dna do we have we have a lot like 90 97 percent 97 that's Bull crap! I feel Dude. like it's bull crap. Why would we have junk DNA? It don't make any sense. Uh, yeah, they they would love to call it junk DNA. What they? Love they? it. Love it. <laughs> it's like the movie. You ever see the movie Lucy? Yes, yes, yeah. I love that. I actually posted a clip from Lucy where at the end she's like uh, changing her form and then she turns into the giant supercomputer. Mm -hmm. And then uh, once she uh, gives them all the knowledge that she has accumulated, she just evaporates yeah i love that I love transcends that so much. 3d yep gone yeah. and it's just all because of that mind expanding <laughs> drug that she got super freaking addicted to yeah right <laughs> yeah even limitless is kind of like i uh, love limitless uh, that was another good one yeah that yeah. uh in nzt or something nzt like nzt that. that's it yeah yeah, I would. I honestly, if I had that shot, I would take those. <laughs> you would take this. <laughs> oh yeah, all day. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. I, have you seen the show and the movie, or just the movie? Just the movie. I didn't know there was a show. Oh, bro, you don't even know about the shot. There's a okay. show. There's a show. Oh, I had no idea about that. This guy Brian Finch, he uh, he gets in trouble or something, and then gets. He gets Ooh. brought into the FBI, and he's the only person <laughs> is the only person that can survive taking these NZP pills. Wow! And, and it's because the guy, the original guy from the movie, uh, while he was really hopped up on NZT, like the pure stuff, mm -hmm. discovered or made a uh, uh, enzyme or something, something to where uh, it'll metabolize in your body and not kill you. Mm. So. Brian Finch is getting these shots and he's the only one that can survive taking NZT. Mm -hmm. So he's the, he's a super, he's a super genius, superhuman genius. And the FBI like need him. Wow. And he, and he can't tell anybody that he gets these shots or the, uh, the guy, the governor, he is now in the show. He, the guy will uh -huh. cut him off. He'll cut him off from the shots and he'll just die. So what if he what tells show it, is this? It's called Limitless. Oh, the show is also called Limitless. Yeah. Oh wow, I had no idea, man. I gotta so watch. So good, this. so good. Wow. Okay. Do you know if it's on Netflix? <laughs> it was. It was on Netflix. I don't know anymore. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, yeah. That's I, got, I need to get show. Gaia. Maybe it's on there too. <laughs> I don't think it's on Gaia. I had Gaia for a long time. Yeah. yeah. I I don't have it anymore oh, because okay. I I wasn't using it as much as I should have been. But I would use it for like yoga and stuff. And I also mm -hmm. I also uh, watched uh, what was it? Wilcox show, David Wilcox show. Mm -hmm. um, crap, I don't remember the name of it. It's on it's Gaia. Good. Yeah, it's on okay. Gaia. It's so good. I always okay. liked learning from David Wilcox. Uh, I had a I had a chance to to go to one of his workshops in L.A. Oh yeah. And I didn't for whatever reason. Yeah. And I wish I would have. I wish I would have. Because I was so close to this guy, man. So really? close. Everything okay, happens for, for a reason, man. Yeah, that's true. You never know. It's oh. a, it's like 11 bucks in a, a month, right? Guy? Yeah, it's it's like 10 bucks, I think. It's not bucks. very much. It's not very much at all. Okay. I think when I got it, I got it for like 20 bucks for the whole year. Because I got it on a Ooh. deal. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice deal. A come up, yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, Back in the nice. day. Yeah, back in the day. I see, I see. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> um, what do you think about reptilians? Cause... You know, it's actually really interesting. I just saw a post about, or maybe it was a, it was a TikTok. It was like in the Simpsons, uh, they were showing like, uh, I don't know. I don't remember who it was. They were pulling off like the masks of like some kind of like, people in the government or something like that the they, they were like yeah. these alien reptilians like <laughs> yeah i think uh simpsons is really big for like predictive programming and uh, knowledge and plain sight and stuff mm -hmm. like that um one of the one of the writers or uh, animation uh, anim animate animation people are is a 33rd degree mason really yeah Ooh. yeah and uh so like predictive programming, ah, I all, see, kinds, I see. all kinds of stuff. Yeah, truth in plain sight. The um, 
the whole reason uh, the Illuminati or whatever are allowed to operate the way they do is because they put the truth in plain sight. They tell you what they're doing. The obvious truth. Just like the Georgia Guidestones. The Georgia Guidestones. Uh, Oh, right, right. Where they have where they have uh the plan their plan to like yeah. cut the popular the world population right, yeah, down yeah. to 500 million from that's, 7 billion dude that's crazy man I that's know. worth noting definitely that's a lot of people and it just popped up one day right didn't it just pop up one day mm-hmm. extremely sketchy I, oh, like overnight overnight popped up overnight that was, was and, that this year that no, it's it's been a long time since. That. Oh, oh, really? But um, yeah, I would look into it if I were you. Okay. Yeah. But um, when they uh, when they deface it, when they uh, BD it, when anybody messes it up, it's fixed like that. Fixed, not That's, even really. It's gone. All the all the graffiti's gone. Like oh, they did that. They graffitied it up. Oh yeah, yeah. They've done it multiple times. They graffiti it. They paint it. They destroy it. They wreck it. And just fixed. back up. Back up. Wow, what the heck? Right? It's something and no um, one sees it happen, right? No, no, no. Hmm. Have you um have you ever heard of like the hundred and forty four thousand in like blood over intent and stuff like that? No, nah, I don't know what that is. Okay, so blood over intent is kinda like it's like writing your intention down and then bleeding over it. Oh so there is this king that would uh carve things in stone. And then sacrifice people over it. Oh like, gosh! He would he would cut himself and bleed over it, and the uh, the things that he would write down would happen, like no matter what, it would happen. So that's the idea of blood over intent. That uh-huh. kind of some of the idea, and um, the the whole. I, did we talk about quasi luminous when I had you? No, I don't time? think so. I don't think so. No? That's um that's where I heard that idea the first time the mm. quasi luminous. Oh, you guy. might have mentioned that actually. Yeah, I yeah. think you did. Yeah. And uh, he would talk about sun gazing and the the hundred and forty four thousand people that were supposed to go to the center of the earth. It's it's like the the light workers that are the original avatars that uh, hmm. like projected themselves onto the earth plane. Uh huh. Yeah, it's it's some crazy stuff. His channel actually got his quasi luminous channel. He was at like eighty thousand, and it got taken down. No way, really. Yeah, on, on YouTube? YouTube. On YouTube, uh. he was talking about it too. He was talking about how he he looked at it as like a sacrifice, I guess, for a brighter future. His whole thing was like bringing mm. bringing forth heaven on earth, but he did it in a way where it kind of felt weird. That his, I felt like his intention was a little off. Just, just a right. feeling from me. I don't know if it was or not, but the way he like talked about people in general was just kind of, it just kind of fucked up. Really? Yeah. But there are a lot of people that have the same kind of message and aren't as, aren't as twisted. <laughs> so wait, he he was talking about people going to the center of the earth. Uh, yeah, but um, the way he would talk about people that kind of, like, didn't agree with his message was kind oh. of, like, so he would talk about, like, maritime law and how if you didn't kind of do the blood over intent thing, you were a dead person legally. So, Whoa. like, yeah, so, like. Um, Some uh, dark would, stuff. Yeah, he would talk about people being necrophiliacs and shit because they were they would have sex and technically you're having sex with a dead person because – you're legally dead. Wow. Yeah, it was it was some, some crazy stuff. crazy stuff. Yeah, I was I was I don't know I was I don't know why I was so into it. Hmm. But what he had a lot of things that he would talk about uh, that really interested me and in, like sun gazing and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And he he opened some rabbit holes for me for sure. Hmm. That's interesting. You know, he got really repetitive. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that's interesting, though, that you, you would talk about some, like, dark stuff, but, like, also mention, like, sun gazing. Yeah. Um, a lot of people uh, would say he's, like, a government official and just trying to spread, like, uh, kind of like the cult mentality. He was trying mm. to build a cult or something. And, yeah, I could see that for sure, for sure. 
because a lot of people are like super devoted, but also a lot of people were saying he was a government agent. So you never know. Why do you think his page was like taken down if he, if he was maybe part of that? Um, honestly, I probably because a lot of people disagreed with the way he talked about things. Oh, so, really? Like, yeah. So probably just, he got so many report. He's got reported so many times is what I think. Mm. Uh, I guess that makes sense. That or he did it himself for attention for a new page because he created a new page after that. But I don't see why he would hmm. do that because he was he was talking about how how he would make like I don't know three thousand dollars a month just from just from his YouTube videos. Why mm-hmm. would you Why would you want to just erase that yourself? I wouldn't want to at least personally. <laughs> he probably got it taken down. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. Right. Yeah. But did you talk about the reptilians too? Yeah, he did. He did a lot, actually. Really? Yeah, he would show uh, footage. Uh, actually, um, you know the the Beastie Boys. Mm-hmm. He would, he played one of those. I guess they were reptilians. He played really? one of their. Yeah. Have you ever heard the uh, the? I guess you would say it's a theory. The mm-hmm. theory, uh, if you play songs or words backwards, backwards. you hear the true intention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he he would he had this video on his page mm-hmm. where he had the Beastie Boys, one of the Beastie Boys songs playing backwards, and it was talking about eating people and oh like my God. stealing people and eating them, and like it was hardcore. Whoa. It like it, it literally gave me nightmares. It was so Sheesh. yeah. Did the I Beatles a, have that too? I don't know about the Beatles, but the Beastie Boys. Uh, I know for sure. I heard it myself. Like I was an adult and I got nightmares over what they were saying. It was crazy. Jeez. And the way it sounds playing backwards, like obviously talking backwards sounds funny and weird, but the way it sounded when he played the song backwards, it sounded demonic for sure. Yeah. Hmm. So he was he like promoting like he's kind of like evil ways basically. No, I feel like he was trying to uncover it, but he was doing it in his own way. No. Oh. Yeah. And people just didn't didn't vibe with it because he was so abrasive. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't vibe with that. <laughs> the way but, the way his pres- yeah he was he was like uncovering a lot of stuff though, and he talked about energies and chakras and stuff. So take the good, leave the bad, you know, mm-hmm. with everything. Yeah, true that. Take right. the best, leave the rest. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna have to do some more sun gazing. That's for sure, man. Yeah, me too. I gotta find a good place where I can get it because I'm surrounded by buildings and trees and crap, and I gotta find a place where I can be on a hill mm-hmm. and like connect to the earth and yeah. watch the sun. <laughs> Same here, dude. I have like n- not much of a view over here either. No, it's awful. I did it hey, like, huh? How far are you? We need to get together and like meet up in person. I think that'd be sweet. Yeah, that would be sweet, dude. I mean, we're like five I'm hours. Ohio. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. We should meet on like a lake or something. True that. We, yeah, we gotta find a way to make this happen. <laughs> Be sweet. I just, yeah, I'm, I'm working on my RV right now. Oh, really? Are you? you yeah. Have one? I got a, a 75 Coachman. I I paid like next to nothing for it. Oh, that's um, sick, dude. I'm restoring it. Yeah. What's great about it? It's got a it's got a, a ground shortage. So that's that's what's bad about it. But. Mm. If I get that fixed, it's good. Like, uh, so if I leave a battery in there, this is the only bad thing about it. If I leave the battery in there, it'll drain the battery and the battery would be dead. Oh, really? But if I mm. take the battery out while I'm not using it, then as soon as I put that, the full battery, the fully charged battery in it, it fires right up. Really? Like, like that every time. Every time it's every so time? reliable. That's good. At least the it's only, reliable. <laughs> right? The only time I've ever had a problem with it is when I left the battery plugged in and the, the, the shortage and the grounding cable would drain the battery. Mm-hmm. Only time I ever had a problem with it was with a dead battery. Mm. Mm. And what? it was, go ahead. Oh, no, no, you got it. Yeah. It was really dirty for a while, and I just paid someone uh, to clean it, and it looks so good. I'll oh, send yeah. you pictures when I get Oh, yeah, I would love yeah. to see it, dude. Where yeah. are you planning to travel? Like all around the U.S.? Though? Yeah, all around. I want to, Um, uh, I was reading a, a while ago. I'm not sure how long ago, but I guess you get, uh, you can pay 350 bucks, and mm. you can go to all the national parks. You can camp in all the national parks for a mm. year. For a year, that's for a year. That's gonna be a lot. <laughs> so that's like that's like less than a month's rent for a whole year. That's true. 
Wow. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only expenses you'd really have to have is food. And, like, um, my idea with the showers and stuff, like, when I want to take a shower, like, I have a shower in my RV, but I don't really want to do that. I also really? don't, I don't, yeah, I also don't want to, like, use the bathroom in my RV. I don't like the idea of that. Really? So, I mean, your nature, yeah, why? Right. Amazing. So, my, uh, uh, my big idea, like, I have, when I can't do this, I have, like, a, a, a portable shower that I have mm -hmm. but when I can't do that like if you go to a truck stop it's ten dollars to take a shower oh really oh. yeah so uh instead of doing that I'm going to well I uh am gonna get a planet yeah. fitness membership oh ten dollars you can go everywhere can take a shower anytime you want that's actually pretty nice that's smart that's yeah. a good idea and they're all over the U.S. so all over that's a good, just use it for the or for the for the showers. Yeah, obviously I work out and stuff still. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to you don't want to uh, go from go on the road and not work out. It, you get sore really quickly if you're Sitting not a lot, moving. Probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. Where's one place that you you would want to like? What's on top of your list? For, okay, like, so Canada. 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 Canada's beautiful. I didn't like Toronto too much, but I liked St. Catharines and I liked Hamilton. Hamilton's one of my favorite places. Really? They have a donut shop and they have re they're <laughs> really they're really vegan friendly in Canada and I love that. Oh, really? They I have didn't a know that. donut shop called Beechwood Donuts and their donuts are so good. They're like literally I would go to Canada just for their donuts. <laughs> Wow, that's awesome. I'll have to keep that in mind when I go there. <laughs> For the U.S., I would say California, but um, mm -hmm. not while it's on fire. Yeah. That there's, sucks. there's some pretty intense fires going on, I feel like, pretty often. Yeah, pretty often. And it, it's it's terrible. And climate, I, climate change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw something weird. Like, I saw this video. It looked like they were showing, like like, a radar of it of like the fires or something there was this like beam across like the radar it was weird you know what i'm what talking do you about think, yeah what do you think about <laughs> the energy energy um energy weapons where they can beam mm -hmm. energy there's a lot of fires fires uh that they say are fires but they have like melted cars and uh really the trees around these houses are not touched that doesn't make any sense hmm so and, there's like a big fire, but some trees won't be touched. Is that what you're yeah, saying? yeah, they're like these houses will be completely like to the ground destroyed. Like it uh, looks like a raging fire. Like this fire would have destroyed anything around it, and this tree is not destroyed, not even burnt what? at all. It don't make any sense. That is and, sketchy. And then a a car out on the road, out on the road, not around anything really flammable, mm -hmm. melted, melted. <laughs> can not, fire fire can melt a car though yeah right? can melt it but but nothing to, else not like this melted to the point where it looks like a little like, more intense yeah, <laughs> yeah like no way just some random house fire is gonna spread through the air to a car mm, yeah and then not get a tree a lot of things are worth investigating absolutely Absolutely. A lot of things are, they don't add up and they, they want us to think they do. But they I don't. mean, even our weather, right? We yeah. Got, we got harp. Yeah, we got harp. Uh, we got the fucking 5G that's heating us up like a microwave. It's literally using like warfare. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That They even show you that they have a machine that can create clouds. They show you. Yeah, I've seen that, right? Man, what are we gonna do in like ten years? They're not, they're not gonna make any other phones. It's gonna be like six G. Like what? <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know right? man. Imagine like what is gonna be after that? Are they just gonna like they're gonna put a a fucking chip in our our heads or something? Like the iPhone they have on Futurama. Have you seen that? Have you seen mm. Futurama? Do you watch? Okay, so nah. they. The idea is like this guy from the the uh, before even two thousand mm -hmm. uh, gets well. Actually, I think on the year two thousand gets frozen for a thousand years, and he wakes up in the year three thousand. So uh, they release this iPhone. 
that they put <laughs> in your eye socket. They put it behind your eyeball, and you blink so many times, and it brings up a screen. Oh, uh, yeah, face. yeah. It's kind of like the Black Mirror episode. Do you ever see Yeah, it? yeah, dude. Black Mirror is crazy. Dude, I think that's the predictive programming we're talking absolutely, about. Absolutely, absolutely. I think that whole show is that. They can, the, on the Black Mirror, they put the sensor in that girl's head, and she goes crazy because the – that she uh, she can't see things that normal kids can see because she's got this sensor. Oh yeah, it was blurred. Buzzes out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, buzzes right. out cuss words and like. Yeah, yeah. Th- these kids were watching porn at school, yeah, yeah. which is never a good idea. But <laughs> that it would fuzz it out, and she was like, "What are you watching?" And I know. Like, you can't see it. Yeah, dude, that episode is crazy. So crazy. Have you seen that? Um, the episode. Uh, uh, where they have uh, Miley Cyrus in it. Yeah, one yeah, of the, yeah. The end episodes, and they take her consciousness and they put it in those dolls, and then the the oh, um, yeah, the limit on the doll gets broken, and it's talking like how she actually talks, and it's telling yeah. telling that one girl about how because right. she was in a coma or something. Yeah, and yeah. Her her person, her handler or whatever, it was like her aunt, mm-hmm. but her handler was mad because she wasn't she wasn't getting. Uh, recognition or something because mm-hmm. she wasn't really doing nothing but setting up shows and stuff The the Miley Cyrus or Ashley mm-hmm. who her character was was the one putting in all the work making the content and and she had so yeah. many limits on her because she wasn't allowed because of her image right to, to say what she wanted to say I think there's a lot of artists like that right now absolutely every, uh, pretty much every artist that's signed is like that yeah gotta be careful with that signing that's when they i think they just put so much into that contract that people don't even know what they're getting themselves into nope i don't think they might not even have evil intents or anything like that you know no maybe not but the the fact that they're taking full creative ownership and a lot of times uh they're taking the rights to their music forever Mm -hmm. like um there's this guy that's trying to get the rights to his music back and they're not going to give him the rights to his music back because they're making so much on his music. Oh yeah. Just like Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson uh, was so powerful because he owned the original rights to his music. The oh, he original, did. The masters. Yeah. He owned those. Hmm. And uh, he, right, like right before, this is really fishy to me too. Right before he died, he was about to buy Sony, like a part of Sony. Was he really? Yeah. Oh. He was about to make, like, big, big power plays. Whoa. Mm-hmm. That is a big power, pl- big power play indeed. Yeah, imagine. He had good messages. Yeah, he did. He had a song about Mother Nature. I yeah, love that one. Absolutely. Song. I hate how they, how they, they just, like, spit on his reputation, his name. And what they say about like what he did to kids, I don't believe that's true at all. No, I, I don't, don't think so true. either. I, don't I feel think like so he either. was empowering kids. The only, the only, um, the only uh, like people that ever said anything bad about him were the mm-hmm. kids that came from poverty. Mm. Because all the all the kids that were like that came from like riches like came from wealthy wealthy families never said anything bad about him actually only had good things to say about him oh huh. that yeah that makes sense i mean i i like i think he just didn't like you know whatever have his childhood and he he, he might yeah it's he weird. was a big kid yeah you know i think maybe he did have sleepers i don't think he did anything bad no not at all like you so know either. what i mean like i don't think so either yeah, they shout on his name. <laughs> I think but so. But really, there there are people that know that and that that will like That's speak true. up for him. Yeah, That's like true. he's got he's still got a uh, fucking a huge following. It's not like he's him or his music or his message is going away anytime. Yeah, at least it's going to his family now, though. Yeah, all the money. I um, I think personally, I think he's not dead. Really. Yeah, I saw I saw this video of uh, his funeral, mm. and there's this person that looks awful lot oh, like him. Oh, really? It's a female, but it looks an awful lot like huh. him. Yeah, and no one knows who it is. I've never seen that. Yeah, look into that. That's crazy. 
I also, for some reason, I feel like Mac Miller's not dead. Yeah? Yeah, I so? feel like he's not dead, yeah. Um, I don't know. He might be, but I, for some reason, I feel like he's not dead. It might just be his energy, but also the way he wrote his songs, the way mm. he tells his story, mm. I don't know. It seems a little too on point to me. Like he knew it was coming, you're saying? Like he either knew it was coming or was right in this story to kind of get out of what he was in. Hmm. You you think he just didn't want the fame? You think that's what it yeah, was? Yeah, may, like maybe he was done with what he had done and he was just trying to get out of it. But also yeah. he, I feel like he, he was a true musician. And he, sure. Yeah. If he is still alive, we'll hear his music for sure. Whether it's through him or, or through s- someone else. Yeah, like songwriting for them. Yeah. It could be, it could be. You never know. Right? You never know right and i mean with 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 the way things are and the way uh people can't it's it's legal to fake your own death in certain states as long as you're not doing it to get away from a crime or like are you serious yeah yeah really i did not know that yeah and with the the (laughs) the witness protection agency it's pretty much the same thing wow there's some loopholes (laughs) absolutely absolutely I, i didn't even consider that yeah, there are people legal. that like criminals that go on the run, and they're they're a whole new another person for their whole life. It's mm-hmm. really it, as long as you have connection to like the dark web, the internet, no. you can fucking get anything. You yeah. can get a whole new identity. I guess so. for for bitcoins. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, true that. Well, I think I think we uh, we spoke here for a good bit, man. Um, yeah, awesome. This has been a great first episode. Awesome. I'm, I'm glad I can get on here and uh, talk to your audience. And I hope, uh, I hope they find value in everything I had to say. And I hope they hit me up on Instagram and find value in what I have to say there. Yeah. So spell out your name so people know how to contact or reach you. Okay. So it's Alex underscore abundance spelled exactly how mm-hmm. it sounds. There we go. All right. Thank you so much, Alex, for being Thank on the so Obvious much. Truth the very first podcast episode. Means I'm honored lot, to be the first guest. Yeah, it's was, it was great talking to you, bro. <laughs> yeah, we need to have we need to have more stuff, and uh, I'll have you on my Instagram live sometime. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that let's do awesome, it, awesome, brother. All right, man. Well, All right, thank brother. you so much. Namaste. Have a beautiful day and have a beautiful Namaste. night. All Peace. right, peace, brother. Peace. Oh, please. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah. <obvious. laughs>